Hey all you, come watch me play, even though you're right there and I'm miles away. Hey Heather, I hope you had a great day. Now let's play, you're cool. Hello, welcome back. So, I think there might have been a bug besides the bug last time, because I just... I found out that, uh... The princess got to wondering what the spider web to that I was button. caught in, I was just so pressing the wrong buttons. It wasn't an actual okay. bug in the game. Uh, so, but since I had quit, I needed to redo the, the whole thing. But then as I re-killed the ogre, uh, instead of taking me immediately to this cave, um, it took me back to the castle for a little bit. So, that was new, Soon as you saw at the beginning. Pit, with vicious, deadly spikes. But now we're it back here. Much too big to jump over. But far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? Used an umbrella! What? She used an umbrella! What? Like that nanny, in that movie? This is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't... I... I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she I do. An right here. Da 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 da! Let's go. Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. She floated down into the cave, deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. Maybe it was only the wind. No, nope, he's right there with that spider. First try. Finally, she landed softly. There right we go. Spider's web. Just had to jump. Fortunately, instead it was of a very around. old web, and she oh, was shoot. able to break free. Ah. Unfortunately, the web was the only thing holding up a giant boulder. Ah. The princess needed ah. to find somewhere to hide. Oh, jeez. Oh, I should have doubled back. Ta-da! Another one? Oh, whoa! She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed, but the giant spider was very good at climbing, too. Not as good as me! Oh, shit. Run and jump and run and jump and run and run and run and jump, run and jump, run and jump, run and run and jump and jump and jump jump, run and jump and jump, run, run and jump and jump, run and jump, run and jump, run and jump, 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 no! Oh man, how do I It's tricky T R I C K Y tricky I don't think that's how that goes. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it this time. No. Oh, jeez. I have to go this way. Whew. Uh, what now? Oh, I see. Break these. The princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Ha ha! Poor spider. Hmm. Finally, she found Fred. I don't he feel was all bad about it. Up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. Ha! <laughs> he was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess you decided better. he was cute. 
Unfortunately, the Can king I keep him as a pet? Him about a dragon that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song. Very quiet. <laughs> I think it's time for me to slay a dragon. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why our dad kept trying to give her away. <laughs> that too. But she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. Here we go. Ooh, look at those mountains. The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were no. rock slides and fiery chasms. Oh, geez. But she was very brave and nimble, just like you. Just she wasn't too going fast to be put of a off runner. You. Deadly dangerous. Yep. There we go. What else you got, up Mountain? And up she climbed. But she ah. She thought about the hot buttered muffins she would make once she got Fred home. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. Muffins! Oh, I love muffins. I miss the snack shop where we would get the Costco muffins. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Gotta time that right. Having one of the- ah, damn it, I forgot. Costco muffins during morning break. That was a good thing about high school. Okay. Ah, damn it, I had it! I had it! I'm alive. Oh, come on. I was right on top of it. Ah, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the me flowing up. Whee! Okay, jump, 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 jump. There we go. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. What's up, Fred? Look at me, I'm not captured. So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. Come at me, scrub lord. Oh. Ouch. Aha, I see. I gotta get him to burn Fred. Come at me. Ah. Stuck around too long. Okay, I can do it this time. Ah, the rope's already cut. Ah, damn it. Okay, okay, okay. One more time. There you go. Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. And burning Fred. And so the princess and Fred lived happily ever after. I've got a Fred cute pet. To go on another adventure again. I've got a dragon and friend. Buttered muffins every morning. There is mm. another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures. Let's do that one. Ah, that's the better story. Oh, that's my name. My name is Don. Alright, Act 2. Stuff that dreams are made of. This is what dreams are made of. What is that? What song is that from? One of those ones that ends up getting a pop version in the Disney credits. Probably. 
Oh, 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 it's magic, you know. Oh, the tent was back this way. Whee! Jump, jump, jump. Did I miss anything over there? I don't think I ever went over there. Don't see anything, though. All right. What you got, illusionist? Vincenzo came back! Hey, what do you think, Vincenzo? Did you ever consider trying out for the trapeze? They're good at what they do, Mr. Fenris. I'll give you that. I got my balloon back, I got a princess from my puppet theater, and my pirate ship is sailing the bounding man. So you're a man of your word. Go ahead. Yep. Count it. It's all there. Need a hand with your stuff? My apparatuses are very delicate, and I don't like anyone in my workshop. You provide the audience, Mr. Fenris, and I will provide amazement. Very well. Mr. Fenris, why are you organizing this circus? Why, indeed. I know who your investors are. Well, I promised my wife and daughter I'd clean up my act. But if I don't pull in the crowds for you, those boys are going to put you in the river. Without Cat and Dee, I wouldn't care much if they did. Ah. Oh. So those crowds better come. I didn't talk to him! I didn't talk to Vincenzo! Why do you need to talk to him? Find out next time. Good night, Heather. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, or else I just might die. Not really.